are taking a day trip again across the border to Trader Joe's as well as some other stores. Where else are we going? Target Walmart. Huh? Target Walmart. Target and Walmart and Trader Joe's. And we're gonna eat at um, Cracker Barrel. So that is what we are doing today. And I thought I would take you guys along with us because I didn't do that the last time. and we just finished shopping at Target. There's our haul. Totally didn't think to film while we were shopping because I was too busy <laughs> looking at everything. Um, we were hoping to find more of the variety of Oreo cookies, but we only found three. So we're just waiting for um, Alex's sister and her boyfriend to be done, and then we'll be off to Walmart, I believe. Watching them, so you're supervising. Oh, Cute. And we have made it to Walmart. We attempted to go to Burlington, but as soon as we walked in the door, the lineup was so long that we were like, nope. <laughs> So we left from there and are now at Walmart. Then we're going to crack a barrel for lunch. Yay! This Walmart is huge. So far, all I have are my dry mouth remedies. <laughs> Ooh, look at these pretty blankets. So we're on a search for some more Oreo flavors and some socks for my sponsor child. Oh, here, this is their dollar section. Maybe they have something here. Get all the Christmas sweaters, they're adorable. I particularly like the cat ones. This one and those ones. They have a freaking bucket of Maltesers here. Oh, see, it says new. So maybe they finally brought them to the US then. Oh my gosh. Look at all the M&Ms. There's like a strawberry nut. There's dark chocolate. So no luck finding the Oreos but we did get some Christmas shopping done. Yay! They had some awesome gift sets of like hot chocolates and baking things. 
so very excited about that. Outside of Cracker Barrel, it's a weird bus. Biscuits and gravy for the first time. I got pot roast and sweet potato and old fashioned lemonade. <clears throat> Looking at all the fall items, they have all these cute little owl salt and pepper shakers, cute little candle holders that are leaves. And then they have, look at this turkey bin. But it's like 10 bucks. Crazy. Not paying that. I have some fall color bows. I have little bow ties for the boys. Or maybe this is a hairband. No, this is a hairband. They have little happy fall y'all dudes. Oh, and they have like, um, Bibs with like a patchwork pumpkin, but again, like eight bucks. Eight bucks is crazy. <laughs> they have lots of candy. Look, it's like a corn thing, and then they have like little pumpkins. <laughs> Look at this ginormous Rice Krispie treats. Holy cow! Look at the Reese's <laughs> two peanut butter cups. So they're like, it's a pound. That's crazy. Where the <laughs> Snickers Sorry. yard and Twix yard, <coughs> extra long Twizzlers. Like they have Star Wars Pez dispensers. Joanne, party of two. You're next to be seated, Joanne. Big thing of Pop Rocks. Look at the giant Hershey kisses. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> giant lollipops. And they have all their Christmas stuff. Aw, oh, look at the little owl spoon rest. Look at the little owl shakers for Christmas. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers. Really cute. They have mugs. Very cute. The little Santa pacifier clip and bow. And they have little uh, storybooks with like the little finger puppet in the middle. <laughs> they have some little reindeer stuffed animals that are cute. Oh, they've got a lot of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stuff. Blankets, loveys. They have a wooden nativity set. And then look! It's a Cabbage Patch Kid dressed like a snowman. How cute. Oh, the Polar Express. And... Yeah, how much are those? Eight bucks. Look, the Santa's climbing the ladder. <laughs> Santa climbing the ladder. <laughs> Up to the top of the tree. That is so cute. Look at that pumpkin spice sugar cookies. It says pumpkin spice yogurt coating. You're gonna groove out to Phil Collins? <laughs> Mist from the falls. Well, 
Well, we have made it home and we have started putting our Trader Joe stuff away, but I wanted to show you what we got. So, um, back here, Alex got uh, some coconut water with aloe vera. So, he got two of those. And then we got four of this Trader Joe's Greek yogurt. Um, I recently tried a pumpkin spice yogurt from our local grocery store that was another brand and I really liked it. So I'm curious to see how these compare. And then also got a pomegranate flavored one and vanilla bean because I thought those sounded good. And then for frozen stuff, we got these fire roasted bell peppers and onions. We got this mushroom ravioli. And where's the other stuff, honey? Is that the pot? Okay. Okay. Um, there is this organic wood fire Sicilian style pizza that has red peppers, provolone, and mozzarella. And meat lasagna. We were going to go for the vegetable one again, but decided to try this one. It's something different. We got two things of asparagus risotto. And we also got this vegetable and chickpea risotto. And the roasted potatoes that we got the last time. Which are really good. We also got chicken chow mein. And frozen peaches for our Yonana's maker. We got the peach drink again because we really enjoyed it the last time and we also always like the, the cherry cider. The, we also got some cornbread stuffing mix, mac and cheese, and pumpkin soup crackers. These are for Alex's mom. Um, I got these cinnamon apple snack sticks again because I really like them. Got this chocolate shortbread. Because I love regular shortbread and I thought I would try chocolate. Brownie crisp, which is my favorite. And I also got myself some pomegranate white tea, blueberry, and acai. Is that how you say it? Acai. Facial scrub. <clears throat> and I got arnica, uh, arnica gel because, um, yeah. Uh, Kimberly from Kimberly's Cocoon is always talking about how good this is. So I saw it there and I got it. We got toasted coconut pancake mix and pumpkin spice cookies. They're shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. Delicious. We, oh, we sampled these there and they're really good. Turkey and stuffing seasoned kettle chips. Really good. Uh, honey butter chips. Not sure how those will taste. Hopefully it'll be good. I got these cute little chocolate mousse pumpkin cakes. Uh, probably put those out tomorrow when Paula and Marilyn come over. We got some peanut butter cups. Dark chocolate. Oh, the, brand, uh, the dark chocolate one is for Alex's friend Brandon. We got an apple pie for tomorrow. Looks good. I got some natural facial cleansing pads because I like their this face wash, face wash that I bought the last time by that brand. And we got the milk chocolate peanut butter cups. Alex got chocolate covered cherries. I'm not a fan, so I won't be eating those. I like the s'mores, smashing s'mores. Those are really good. We got two of those, right? Yep. And we got two of the peanut butter cups. Those are so good. And I was really wanting to get their, um, bless you. I was really wanting to get their um, chocolate fondue, like what we got the last time. Because last time we only got one container and I wanted to like get a bunch this time. But apparently they're not in season. So... Didn't get any of that. Uh, I got some hand cream. Hold on, put it down. We got 
got the cocoa swirl cookie butter, which is really good. We got spiced cider. There goes Riley. Um, and then we got apple cider vinegar. And what are these? Right. Dunkers? Oh, these are for Brandon. Those look good. <laughs> That's what it's and we got this. It's like a combination of soy sauce with teriyaki. Sounded good. And I got the balsamic vinaigrette dressing again because I really liked that the last time. That's it. That's everything from Trader Joe's. Here is part of our Target haul. So we got this drink. Um, we got some the last time we went and we really like it. So there is two of the uh, black cherry. And then this is apparently like cola flavored sparkling water. Should be interesting. And there's Columbia cream, which I think we're thinking is supposed to be sort of like a cream soda flavor. There is um, grapefruit, two watermelons, and then this one is clementine, and this one is strawberry lemonade. So they all sound really good. So those are the drinks we got from Target. And just found these three other drinks. So we got um, coconut, another clementine, and a watermelon. Um, and then we found these hot cocoa flavor Oreos and white fudge covered Oreos. I was really disappointed that they didn't have the apple pie Oreos. They did not have the cookie butter Oreos and they did not have the pumpkin spice Oreos. So Nicole, if you're watching this video, can you please look for those for me and I will gladly pay you for them if you can find them for me because they couldn't, they didn't have them there. So <laughs> I was going to message you about that anyway, but I'm sure you'll be watching this video. So anyways, so that is that. And then we also got other things at Target. Uh, let's see, this bag is empty. Okay, so I got a couple things for my sponsor child. I got a um, Peanuts Christmas themed uh, pen. And it's one of those pens that has like, you can push these down to get different colors. So I thought she would like that. I got these Chris, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas stickers. Um, probably gonna use those for work. Uh, let's see. I grabbed some more water wipes because I love them and we don't have them here. Um, I also got these little notebooks for my sponsor child. There's a Rudolph one and there is a Peanuts one. Um, I also grabbed some of their little eraser sets and the reason I did that is because a lot of um, activities that I save on Pinterest for work uh, actually utilize these little bundles of erasers that Target always has in their dollar section and I think the last time we went I got some that were some other theme I think they were Easter themed yeah because we went around spring um, I was hoping to see if they had like some Halloween ones, but there wasn't very much left in the Halloween stuff. So those were gone, but I got these little candy canes and I got Santa's and I got snowmen. And basically the activities that use these, they use them for counting. They use them for sorting, for making patterns. There's all kinds of activities that you can do with those. Um, obviously not for Annie's age because they're so small and she'd just put them in her mouth, but more for Margaret. 
Um, and then as Annie gets older, I'm sure she'll enjoy that. I did some Christmas shopping. And so I got two uh, baby outfits that I won't show you because they're for friends for Christmas. Um, um, got some scotch tape from the dollar section. Got these cute little gift boxes, um, gift card holders for Christmas. They were really cute. And got some little rolls of wrapping paper for a dollar. So I liked these because they were a little bit like more gender neutral or like masculine which we don't have very much wrapping paper like that so this has a truck with a christmas tree and then it's got a snowman um this one is brown and it has another kind of truck with a christmas tree in the back it says merry christmas to you and these were all a dollar which was awesome and i like that they're not like super long rolls they're nice and short uh, this one's super adorable. It has penguins, snowmen, foxes. Really cute. This one's just red with Christmas trees. And then this one's a really nice um, plaid kind of pattern that has white, red, and green. So, getting ready for Christmas. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, and then before we left, we came across another Target. So I wanted to go in there to check to see if they had the cookies I was looking for, which they didn't either. Um, but I did grab another outfit for a friend for Christmas, which I'll set aside. Um, I also picked up these socks for Yorgelies. They are pink with little foxes on them. Thought they were cute. They were only a dollar. And then I got her these peanut Christmas socks that were only a dollar as well um, and I have some other things I picked up for her so I'm probably not going to be able to send everything that I picked up for her but I'll probably do like the Christmassy stuff now and then the other stuff I can send in the new year because um, I got some journals and pens and markers and stuff like that then they had all of these like 70% off so they're like $4 originally, but 70% off, they were only about a dollar something. And it's three sheets of these felt stickers of pumpkins, leaves, and acorns. Um, so I can use that in scrapbooking and card making. And there are these little pumpkin stickers that are felt, but then on top, they have this gold kind of ridged cardboard I guess and then there's these other stickers I got two of these packs and there's six in each and it says give thanks hello fall and grateful perfect for cards and then there is um, this which I thought was cool and actually I didn't realize that it was <laughs> more than one game I just thought it was one whole game it's a memory card game um but there's actually four games in there so that's cool I could probably someone do yours please use one for work whatever they were like only a dollar so that is what I got at Target so um as you saw in my video from today we had lunch at Cracker Barrel it was really good I always love eating at Cracker Barrel inexpensive and yummy um so i ended up splurging on myself and i got these bibs so there's a turkey one for thanksgiving and then this nice little pumpkin one for the fall it's like a patchwork pumpkin and surprisingly this one was cheaper the pumpkin was cheaper than the um turkey which i thought was weird because this is, seems much more intricate um so i thought those are cute and then i decided to get the um little reindeer jingle jingle little reindeer 
book that has the little reindeer finger puppet in it. So that's going to be for Annie for Christmas along with the uh, Jingle Bells. So I thought that would be a cute little Christmas gift for her. Um, and then I also got some scented sachets. It was really hard to smell them properly in the store. So they are really, they're a lot stronger than I thought they were because I'm really smelling them now. But um, this one, um, it doesn't even say what scent this is. It just says elephant. Oh, exotic woods and amber enhanced with tart black currant and delicate violet. <laughs> Um, it smells really nice. It took me a long time to decide on which ones I wanted. I also got this one that's just Hello Fall. And, uh, it's just a nice, um, harvest one. Ginger, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Um, and then the other one I got is, it says Live Your Passion. And... It is floral blossoms mingled with sun-kissed passion fruit. And it smells really nice. So I got those from Cracker Barrel. And finally, here is our Walmart haul. And most of it is Christmas gifts for family members. And I would say probably all of the family members that we purchased these for don't watch my videos. So it's safe that I can show them. So we bought two of these um, hot chocolate packs. So there's um, milk chocolate, hot chocolate, French vanilla, caramel cream or caramel cream mint chocolate and dark chocolate so um we got those two two of them um one of them i have two mugs to go with and the other one is going to go with something else um and i just thought like they were reasonably priced for what you get because each box has four envelopes in it. Also, I saw these and thought they were absolutely adorable. And again, the price was right. So I got two of them. They're exactly the same. And what it is, is it's a little pot holder with a cutting board as well as a um, muffin, cinnamon muffin mix. So yeah, it just says there's a pot holder, cutting board, and the mix in there. And these were only, I believe, yeah, they were $6, which I thought was very reasonable. Um, so. I might even actually pair one of these up with the, the hot chocolate. Um, so we got that. And then finally, the final bag over here is um, I got another big bottle of my dry mouth rinse and this time I'm going to try the Equate brand because um, this is a one liter bottle and the one liter bottle in the Biotene um, brand was like double the price. It was like 10 bucks versus this being like $6. So I thought I would give this a try. I just got the one bottle. 
I also got two packs of the dry mouth lozenges that I can just like pop in my purse so that during the day I can have those. So I bought the value packs that have 36. So that should last me a while. And I also got two of these. So this one says home for the holidays and it has a red truck with a Christmas tree and it's an oven mitt. And inside the oven mitt is a chocolate chip cookie mix. And this was only $5. So I got two of those, but the other one is um, sugar cookie mix. And the oven mitt says all is calm and it has two reindeer. Um, I also got for the girls at work for Margaret and Annie to put with their Christmas gifts um, bathtub fizzies so one is frozen and one is elf on the shelf so frozen will be for Margaret elf on the shelf will be for Annie um, and then oh and then we also got a jar of Rocky Road brownie mix and this was only five dollars as well and I mean, yes, I have plenty of Pinterests like this where you can like make your own jarred things, but I've decided to try going the easy route this year and I'm not really going to get um, into doing any handmade gifts this year. Um, I just found doing that the last two years was very stressful and usually I find if I'm going to be doing that I need to start planning it months in advance and slowly work on them from like September to December but I haven't done that I'm actually a little bit behind on Christmas shopping this year I usually would be just about finished by now um, and if I was making gifts I would have already started making them or at the very least be starting them this month um so I just decided to go ahead and buy this one. Uh, and then also for yours, Louise, I got her some troll lip balm from the dollar section. And also Hershey's, it's like a Hershey's syrup um, milk chocolate flavored lip gloss. So you know, I kind of got my thinking cap on. I was like, oh, well, you know, around that age, I liked those kinds of things like lip balms and lip glosses and things like that. So that'll be for her. And I guess that's it. That is our day in Buffalo. And I had my shower and now it is, excuse me, it is late. So I need to get to bed so I can get up in the morning and prepare some yummy foods and snacks for our little belated Halloween party. Marilyn and Paula were able to make it tomorrow, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get together, we're gonna have a little re dolly day with our Reborns, have a little belated um, Halloween party or fall party or whatever you wanna call it. Um, so we got lots of good food for that and um, two of the things I just got to cut up some veggies for veggies and dip in the morning and I have a salsa dip I want to make so that's what will be happening tomorrow so I hope you enjoyed coming along with us today and seeing our haul and yeah so hope you are all having a good weekend and uh, that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.